Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate now how to download an embroidery design, store it on your computer, then put it on a USB stick or thumb drive and bring it to your machine. Now, a lot of embroidery designs come on CDs. Newer laptops, tablets do not have CD drives on them anymore. So you can always buy an external CD drive and it just plugs into your USB port and you can do it that way or you can go to the vendor site and download them. That seems to be the way that designs are now coming or they'll actually come on a USB stick. So I'm going to demonstrate going to embroidery online. Okay, so I've just typed into Google embroidery online and you'll see that it's usually the ad that comes up first. Now, when you sign up with Embroidery Online, you actually tell them in there that you buy your designs at your local quilt store, embroidery store, and they'll receive credit for it. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Okay, so there you're going to see what wonderful designs that I have purchased. Winter Wonderland, Wings of Eden. I have many things that I have purchased here. So the thing about buying embroidery designs online is that you typically select the format of your machine. Now, all brothers are .pes. Again, .pes. Bernina is .exp, Janome is .jef. So when you select all available formats, so I could select all of them, because once you buy a license, you're licensed to use that design on a machine that you own, or you can just pick your specific design format. So let's go down. We're just going to go Winter Birds. And I'm going to download the PES, which is down at the bottom. Now, most embroidery designs will have a PDF with it. Now, PDF means it's a, a document that you're going to print out, and it's going to have important information on it, such as, I'll just click on this one. Now, you'll notice that it will download, and it'll be in the bottom left-hand corner of your browser. If I go ahead and open it, it's going to show me all the designs that are in this bundle. It'll tell me the size. So if we take a look at chickadee number one, it tells me what the size in inches or in millimeters and how many stitches. So the first chickadee, it's only a 3.6 by 4.24. So if your machine has a maximum four by four hoop, that design is not going to work. You will not be able to stitch it out. If I go over to Chickadee 3, it says 3.7 by 3.08. That will work in a four by four hoop. So one of the important things about buying an embroidery machine, buy an embroidery machine with the biggest hoop that you can comfortably afford. I have found through trial and error, buying a machine with a limited hoop size limits on what you can or cannot do. So try to buy a machine with the biggest hoop that you can afford, and then you can do a lot more. So it gives me all the designs. So this is really good to print out, and I keep mine in a binder, so I'll have a little tab page that tells me these are winter birds and then I have all this information available. You see there's quite a few. Now the most important part here it tells me which threads I want. Now because embroidery online is done by OESD 
this is going to be the threads that we have here. So here's the numbers. So this is all isochord thread. Now, if I had Madeira thread or Silky threads, I would just Google conversion chart, chart isochord to Silky, and you'll be able to print that, and I would keep that in the front of your book as well. So this is where, I'm, if I look at here, here are all the colors that I need in order to do those stitches. Now, those are their recommended colors. You don't always have to pick their colors. Sometimes I like to change and pick whatever color I like. Okay, so that's the PDF. Let's go back to my downloads now. I'm going to download Winter Birds, and I've selected PES for the file extension, and I'm going to download all, because this was actually a collection. So now if I looked in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, it says the number 12208, which doesn't mean a lot to you, .pez.zip. Because embroidery files, when you have a collection, you have many embroidery files, a zip file means that they'll compact them so you can download them easy. Now on most web browsers, it will download to the download folder. So I'm now going to bring up my window for my C drive, my file explorer. Okay, so if I open up my file explorer, I'll have a download window or you're going to navigate to the download window. So if I click on that, you'll see it's sorted by actually by date. Here's my 12208.pes. That is my zipped folder. If I double click on it, it's going to say, okay, so here are all my design full designs in here you need to take one extra step. You need to extract them all. So this is just giving you a view into that zip folder. And then it's very important for you to say extract all. So when you hit extract all, this window is going to pop up. Now, I find that most of my students lose their files on their computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to extract them into a directory or a file folder that's only made for embroidery files so that you can find it very easily. So you're going to hit on the word browse and then another window is going to open up. So when you're looking at your file folders here, you'll notice there's quick access. I can scroll down. We want to create a directory or a file folder for your embroidery designs. Right now, this laptop is pointing to OneDrive, which is a cloud storage. You don't want that. We want to save our embroidery designs on this laptop. In this case, it's on the D drive. Yours would typically be a C drive. So if I click on the D drive, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it by a name that I'm going to remember. So Linda's Embroidery Designs. Enter. Now I can select that folder. You'll see it's still highlighted. Now I'm going to select Extract. So if you just look quickly at the window, it says D here because all my data on this laptop is stored there. Yours is typically a C drive. I'm going to extract all of my embroidery files. And so I'm back to my file folder. You'll see that it says Linda's embroidery designs and here are all my embroidery designs. So now we have all of our embroidery designs on the right hand side of our screen. We're going to click, hold and drag them over to my USB. I have a Kingston USB stick into this laptop and it's a E drive. As you'll notice that I create folders on my USB for brother. I did a Kimberbell Nomi's event. I'll have some Kimberbell and more Kimberbell. I like to create file folders on my USB just to keep them separate. It's really easy to get lost in your files and not know where what is. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the brother file folder. 
Now I'm going to select say, the first two. So if you want to select more than one file, you just hold the shift button down. Then I just click, hold, and drag it over to my USB. It'll say copy to brother. That's in the directory I am. Copy and let it go. That's it. Now my embroidery files are on my USB stick I can take to my machine. So just to recap, you go to the website, you download the files that you have purchased. They almost always come zipped. Then on your laptop or computer, you're going to extract them. Very important to extract them. Make sure you extract them to an embroidery directory so you can easily find them. Sometimes your computer is set to extract to a documents folder or a picture folder. You'll never find your embroidery designs. So extract them to your embroidery design. Open up your file browser again. Insert your USB. Click, hold, and drag it over. Now you are ready to take it to your machine.